Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. It's snowing here in Capitan, and it's like March the 20th or 21st. And if I put the point the camera straight ahead, it'll get stuff in the lens. Anyway, I'm just going to give you a quick, some quick tips on leveling an RV, whether it's a motorhome or a travel trailer, whatever. It doesn't matter. These are just some tips that worked for me over the years. And I don't, I've got a Class C motorhome, as you can see right here. And uh, it doesn't have the automatic leveling jacks, okay? But those little plastic levelers work okay or you can use uh, blocks or bricks or whatever you've got but once you get it pretty well what you think level looking at your levels on the outside or inside whatever you've got you know some of them have levels outside along the fenders and in the front and stuff but I promise you you know th those are good guides but do they work well let me tell you what really works I'll show you as soon as I get in here I gotta slip my shoes off so I don't get mud everywhere so what I do when I get my RV what I think is pretty level I have a few tests that I go through okay one of them of course is checking the level the other one is I call it the inside door test okay now this is the bathroom door there's a little magnet that holds it there like right there you'll see it the little magnet right there anyway so but if you if I let go of the door and it stays pretty good that tells me that port pretty level right in there, okay? Now, the other test is the refrigerator. And even though you think, well, if that's level, this has got to be level, you'll see. Okay, open the door on the fridge, let it go, gradually drifts in, okay? Why is that? Who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, then you go back, go back here, final test. The water in the shower test, okay? What I like for the sh water sh in the shower to do is not accumulate back here in the back or all along in here. What I like for it to do is gradually work its way to the drain. That helps a lot, doesn't it? So anyway, I'll turn the water on. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can. But anyway, it's, it's draining right down this way, down this side, accumulating a little bit, and then it comes up to this drain right here. Uh, that's tolerable, you know, because I can just take my foot and rate that out of there not a problem so whenever you're 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 leveling your rv no matter what type it is these things twist you know what i mean they, they, they they're on a beams frame and all that stuff and you may have it perfectly leveled in the front where your your levelers are your your gauge or whatever you've got are on the side oh yeah it's all perfect so you're you th thumbs up on that and you get inside and then this door or whatever doors you have you you they just close you know or they just keep swinging back and forth so anyway do the door test do the shower water test and then do whatever other test you want to do but uh that works for me yeah this the, the the bathroom door test works gives you that the refrigerator door gives you this side you know what i mean and all you can do is just get it close guys so with that in mind from capitan new mexico with my perfectly organized Class C motorhome. This is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye, bye, bye. Anything you want, use the Amazon link if you choose to. And uh, enjoy your lives. Keep your health. And uh, yeah, yeah, on the Amazon link, you just click, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. It'll take you to a site, but you know, you, you choose what you want. Anyway, see the snow out there? Yeah, I just got, I just got here a couple of days ago. I think this is neat because I'm, I'm from Texas and uh, yeah, snow is neat for a while. Anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.